I mean, I think I I started after my fellowship in HIV in 1983, and I saw firsthand uh, the impact as a physician caring for really hundreds of young men and women at a time who I had the privilege of be their doctor until most of them died. Uh, being a clinical researcher, I had the opportunity to uh, um, be part of the research efforts and and see the progressive stepwise improvement in therapy and, and, and improvement in, in prevention and, and now to be part of uh, uh, this administration's effort to bring an end to the AIDS epidemic in, the, uh, in America once and for all is, uh, is a great privilege or something. I've always said that we, you know, we can't leave science on the shelf. We need to put it into action. And we have the tools to bring this epidemic to an end. That is, we have effective therapy. If we can get people diagnosed and into treatment, keep them in treatment, therapy works. And if you become unsuppressed, <coughs> you become barley suppressed, not only are you going to now live near a natural lifetime, which is unbelievable when my patients all died in their 20s mm -hmm. and early 30s, uh, not long ago, but you're also not infectious. So treatment is prevention. And then you couple with the new uh, evidence that there's now not just a behavioral method to protect yourself from HIV, but there's a uh, chemoprophylactic method. There's pre-exposure prophylaxis, so that people at risk can actually re be prevented from getting infected if they take PrEP. So those tools are critical. They need to be applied, and they need to be applied. And right now, probably 35% uh, or 40% of individuals in our country that are HIV infected aren't effectively treated. 20% are on have access to comprehensive prevention strategies for PrEP. That needs to change. This initiative is going to change that. And we're looking forward to working with the state of Oklahoma and your colleagues here because Oklahoma is one of the seven states that we have selected to focus on in terms of figuring out how to most effectively uh, bring an end to new HIV infections, particularly in the rural communities. We've, we've picked uh, 48 jurisdictions in Washington, D.C. and San Juan, which represent more than 50% of all new infections in America, but they're all urban. So we felt that if we get a great program that works in cities, how does that help our nation uh, uh, really bring it into the AIDS epidemic? We needed to pick some rural environments. Uh, in the next five to seven years, our goal is to reduce infections by 75% in five years across the country and to reduce by 90% in 10 years and finally bring an end to the AIDS epidemic.